FDA approves Kiskali ribociclib for early high-risk breast cancer. The Natalie trial revealed that adding ribociclib to an aromatase inhibitor significantly improves invasive disease-free survival, or IDFS, in patients with early-stage HR plus HER2 breast cancer at high risk of recurrence. At the 36-month mark, the IDFS rate was 90.7% in the ribociclib arm, compared to 87.6% in the NSI alone arm. This clearly demonstrates the effectiveness of CDK4-6 inhibition in preventing disease recurrence. The FDA approval of Cascali now offers a valuable new treatment option for high-risk patients in the early stages of breast cancer, giving them a better chance of preventing the cancer from returning. In the final analysis of Invasive Disease-Free Survival, IDFS, from the Natalie trial, there was a statistically significant improvement in the ribociclib plus NSA arm compared to the NSA alone arm. At 36 months, the IDFS rate was 90.7% in the ribociclib plus NSAI group compared to 87.6% in the NSAI alone group. The hazard ratio HR was 0.749. This means patients in the ribociclib arm experienced a 25% reduction in the risk of invasive disease or death compared to those receiving only an NSI. The NATALIE trial is a randomized, open-label, multi-center phase three trial. It involved 5,101 adults with positive HER2 negative early breast cancer. Participants included patients with any level of lymph node involvement except for microscopic nodal involvement. Patients without nodal involvement were included if they had a tumor size greater than five centimeters or tumors between two to five centimeters with either grade two and high genomic risk or CAI 67 levels of 20% or more or grade three disease. In the Natalie trial, participants were randomized into two groups. One group received ribociclib 400 milligrams with a non-steroidal aromatase inhibitor, NSAI, while the other group received NSAI alone. For premenopausal women or male patients, gasserolin was also administered when indicated. The trial used stratification factors to ensure comprehensive. These included anatomic stage, prior chemotherapy, whether neoadjuvant or adjuvant, menopausal status and geographic region, categorizing participants from North America, Western Europe, Oceania, versus the rest of the world. This study design incorporated key elements to evaluate the efficacy of ribociclib across a diverse population of patients. The primary efficacy outcome in the Natalie trial was Invasive Disease-Free Survival, or IDFS. This was defined as the time from randomization to the first occurrence of any of the following. Local or regional invasive breast recurrence, distant recurrence, death from any cause, contralateral invasive breast cancer, or secondary primary non-breast invasive cancer, excluding basal and squamous cell skin cancers. The safety profile of ribociclib in the Natalie trial was consistent with what has been observed in its use for metastatic breast cancer. Common side effects included neutropenia, or low white blood cell count, elevated liver enzymes, and fatigue. Patients taking ribociclib require regular monitoring of their blood cell counts and liver function to effectively manage these risks. The FDA's approval of Kiskali for early-stage high-risk breast cancer sets a new standard for preventing recurrence in patients with HR plus HER2 breast cancer. Supported by robust data from the Natalie trial, ribociclib combined with an aromatase inhibitor marks a significant advancement in treating high-risk patients. Continued monitoring of long-term survival outcomes will provide further insights into the full benefits of this important therapy. Download these slides at oncologytube.com, the link in the description. Subscribe and activate notifications for more videos like this.